Hey, welcome back to YT Finance, and today we are talking about Nano Dimension and NNDM stock. For Nano Dimension stock news today, we will briefly discuss NNDM's new products and a potential new acquisition while we go over NNDM's second quarter financial report, which will tell us just how well Nano Dimension as a company is operating. Then we will perform some NNDM stock technical analysis which will let us know if now is a good time to buy NNDM stock and if it truly has entered a buy zone. This video will actually be split into two videos so I will make the second one tomorrow so like this video right now for the second part or if you want more stock news comment your thoughts down below turn on all subscription notifications if you are not subscribed and now let's make you some free money with Weeble. Weeble is a free brokerage app where you can buy and sell sell stocks, options, and cryptocurrencies, but right now you can get two free stocks with Weeble. You can get the first free stock, which can be worth anywhere from $2 to $250 for just creating an account, and you can get a second free stock, which can be worth up to $1,600 if you invest $100 or more on your first deposit. You will have a 1 in 100 chance of getting stocks like Facebook, Starbucks, or Snapchat, and you have a 1 in 50 chance of getting stocks like Google or Procter & Gamble. To get this offer, just press on the link in my description box down below, but do it quickly because this offer will not last forever. And without further ado, let's get into today's stories. According to Yahoo Finance, Nano Dimension reported revenues of $811,000 for the second quarter and one point. $622 million for the first half of 2021, and this is a great increase from the second quarter of 2020 where they generated revenues of $288,000 and from the first half of 2020 where Nano Dimension generated $990,000 worth of revenue, so this increase in revenue is very nice. Currently, the company has $1.397 billion worth of cash and cash equivalents on their balance sheet, however, they had an operating loss of $19.8 million this quarter due mainly to non-cash share-based compensation. This large increase of revenue mainly came from Nano Fabrica and Deep Cube, which Nano Dimension acquired in April of 2021. And we know this because the CEO of Nano Dimension said that this quarter was the first quarter to record the financial results of both of these entities, which were consolidated and reflected in the current financial results. The CEO of Nano Dimension also directly talked to retail investors and institutional investors when he mentions that NNDM is a different type of investment. Even though Nano Dimension increased their revenues and gross margin by 68% and 40% from 2020 respectively, the CEO is still not impressed with these results because he thinks that these increases are still too small. The CEO says that with new products on the verge of release, this should bolster revenues, especially if we pair that with the developments regarding materials and new research and development data. However, expenses will also rise alongside the revenues as research and development costs and expenses increase along with them hiring new scientists, which will all be reflected in the financial statements of the company both now and and in the future. So if you are a short-term investor or trader, it could take a while to receive a payoff from this company, but due to the company's $1.39 billion worth of cash on hand, they can plan to spend this money over the next five to six years to develop their technology further and reach milestones faster, which could pay off for long-term investors. This also gives Nano Dimension a huge edge over their competitors, who will still need to raise money for their research and development, either by offering shares or from their own operations. Nano Dimension's leadership wants to implement a long-term business plan to benefit their shareholders and customers. Nano Dimension wants to create long-term value for their supporters instead of providing short-term financial improvements, which was one of the reasons why the CEO in the beginning of this video was not impressed with just some revenue growth because he is more focused on the bigger picture of revolution 
revolutionizing the additive manufacturing space. Nano Dimension is also expanding through mergers and acquisitions and by simply hiring new scientists, engineers, and other professionals to create a well-rounded team that specializes in deep learning algorithms, 3D printing, manufacturing, and robotics. One of the end goals for Nano Dimension is for their team to create an interconnected smart system with a library of various 3D printing blueprint files that can be stored and shared in an instant to be created by their machines at any time and this all takes place while the 3D printing machine is self-learning so it can make up for any potential mistakes it can make. Currently, Nano Dimension is in a merger and acquisition negotiation with another company that they may acquire. However, we do not know the name of the company at this time. All we know is that they are currently in negotiations. Right now, NNDM is analyzing if the potential merger and acquisition target company will drive product development, advance their research and development efforts, and expand their marketing channels to a larger customer base. Nano Dimension is trying to innovate rapidly because they're spending a lot of money on research and development, which reached $9.129 million for the second quarter. And this is a huge jump from just $1.895 million last year in the same quarter. Also, the net loss for the second quarter was $13.6 million, or $0.05 cents per share, but shareholders' equity totaled around $1.5 billion, which is a huge increase from last year at around December 31st, which was just $667.1 million. Also, NNDM's sales and marketing expenses have six-fold increased to $6 million, which I think is good news because the more money you spend on sales and marketing and research and development, this is just going to pay off in the longer term. Now let's perform some technical stock analysis. So right now the stock is priced at about $5.39 and currently the stock is trading in a technical pattern of a falling wedge. And because the stock trades below the 50-day moving average, which is in green, and the 200-day moving average, which is in blue, this is a very bearish sign. But the good news for NNDM stock is the Relative Strength Index, or RSI, which currently sits at a 29. And the reason that this is good news is anything below an RSI of 30 normally signifies that the stock is oversold. And this can create a great buying opportunity because the stock can drop below the value of what the NNDM stock should actually be worth according to the amount of cash that they have on hand right now. And we also see great support at $5.30, which may cause the stock to bounce back up a little. So in the next video, I will tell you what price that you can buy NNDM stock below that will manage risk and hopefully make you long-term profits. But what do you all think? Comment your thoughts down below about NNDM stock. Subscribe if you are new, like this video, especially if you made it all the way to the end, and I will see you in the next YT video.